The 2010 AHECTA Student Production Awards are made possible by generous sponsorships from MTVU, one channel for everything college. Visit www.mtvuser.com for more details and to get involved on your campus today. Fox News. Visit www.foxnews.com for the latest in U.S. and world news. Also check out Fox News Channel University at fncu.foxnews.com to realize your potential. There's going to be about 30 of us on this trip in three vans, so we have to kind of pack tightly. Um, so basically bring a change of clothes, and that's really all you need. Uh, coming on this trip, I was looking forward to it for myself mostly, um, and I realized to be honest that it's not about me at all. The variety of everything that we did this weekend was really impressive and left an impact on me that was more than I expected, but changed me um, so that I realized what I can do, what I should do, and uh, what I haven't been doing, I guess. De Calores is a student-led monthly service trip to Tijuana, Mexico. It's sponsored by the Office of Social Justice and Campus Ministry. We leave on Friday evenings and come back on Sunday, and I really encourage you to go on a day Calores trip. I'm a sophomore, fine arts major, and I'm from Camarillo. I'm a freshman. My major is English, and my hometown is Colorado Springs, Colorado. I'm from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Um, I am a junior film production major, classics minor. Hometown, Arlington, Washington. I'm a mechanical engineer major, and I'm a junior. Some people would look at would look at what we do and say, "Well, what can you do in half a day um, helping to build a house?" And even though the project is so important, it's equally as important as making friendships with the people down there and being in solidarity with them. Just being able to be around in a different group of people, and especially. Um, like an underprivileged group of people. Uh, being on this campus, we don't really, we don't see that kind of stuff every day, so. You just need to let yourself be comfortable in the situation, even though it's different and kind of scary sometimes. It was two LMU students that just decided uh, to go down to TJ, and then they started Nicolettes, and then uh, they graduated, got married, and everything. All right, so I'm Julianne. My husband Chris and I met actually on an orphanage trip. Our passion has always been Mexico, but what we always say to people is it doesn't have to be Mexico, just something. Like, find something, some way you want to help, some way you want to touch somebody's life. And that's what makes the world better, you know, and that's what makes your life better, too. but we'll be going to a work site. Uh, we're going to Frodita, which is a community we've been working with for four or five years now. It's a construction project. We go to the same community each time, and we meet with the same people, and we develop relationships with these people. The friendship between the community members um, in Tijuana and uh, the people that went on the trip, it seemed like it had already developed before we even got there, just because of the whole organization of De Calores. Okay, we got everyone here now for our golf 
sort of give us instructions just so you can see the house is next door, the original house. It's just a lot of scrap lumber, an old garage store. I mean, it's just built out of anything. The most meaningful part to me was the Casa de Migrante. Um, it was really difficult to look at people who had lost everything. They had nothing but the food that the house gave them and the clothes on their back, and yet they weren't down and out. In 22 years, this institution, Casa Migrante, has attended uh, about 188,000 people right now. Uh, just this year is about 10,000 people that cross through. I had no idea that, um, I had no idea that you, people who were here for like 20 or 35 years had been kicked out of the United States. I was going to Casa de Migrante. Um, we met Juan and he was kind of our age, a little bit older, but I think I saw a lot of myself and a lot of us in him just because he was so young. When the legality of a person is confronted with the possibility of living or dying because there is no work, there is no job, there is no food. These people have to try something else in their life to keep their, themselves and their families alive. When you see the human being, their drama, what they are living, uh, I think you change your conception also of law, change your conception of legality also. with other students like no one puts on any facade everyone is just a hundred percent themselves they're really focused on you know why we're there and that's why people can just like let loose and have fun and have such a great time i think we all um stepped out of our shells a lot we got used to each other where towards the end you know we were joking and laughing and we could cheat and steal at a crazy um, soccer game and it was fun, you know, there were no feelings hurt, it was just all crazy and fun. We definitely had bonded over something. I'd say the orphanage usually impacts me the most. To have um, an older person come and play with them you know, every month is, it is fulfilling, just knowing that you can be there for them. Just seeing how all the kids interacted with all of us, um, and it looked like they really looked up to a lot of us. You know, they were just like following, following some of us around and stuff. So it was that was like a that was a pretty powerful thing. Prior to going to Tijuana, I felt like um, it was really dangerous just because you always hear on the news and the media that it's run by drug lords and there's just a lot of drug violence going on. And then if you're a tourist there, you're going to be targeted really easily. But we never had any altercations with anyone. When you go down there, you just, you have your eyes open to all that and just how genuine and nice all the people are. We come from completely different cultures. They, the people down there have totally different life. Their problems are so different from ours. And uh, it's, it's our differences that makes the, our friendship so meaningful. I've been near poverty, but I've never actually looked at it, I think, and this trip made me definitely open my eyes, and I actually saw the poverty around me instead of just knowing it was there. People have asked me, you know, why should I go on it? And in a nutshell, I tell them everything that we do. You know, we have the team bonding night the first night, uh, construction project, the migrant house, the soccer game, the orphanage, and then the border. I've been telling everyone I can ever since I got back that they should go on Decolores. Um, Anytime I'm with groups of people, I bring it up. I think it's incredibly meaningful, and it makes the people who go on the trip a lot better of individuals. You become a better person for other people because it's such a service-oriented trip. And so it definitely, I think, made me so much more thankful. And I think that kids here, especially in L.A., we, we forget what's around us, and so we need to become more thankful of what we do have.